Welcome guys to 1300 Astro Dog, our channel. Um, today we're going to explore Martinoff masks and how to affix them to a refractor and also what size to get. So to know which size we actually want, uh, what we need to do is we actually need to look at where they're going to go on. So what you do is you get your refractor and what we do is we're going to measure uh, from one edge to the other edge. So if I put that there, put that there, I can see that's about 100 mils. Right, so I know that it is a 100 millimeter refractor. Now, that's interesting because this is actually only an 80 millimeter telescope. So there's just something you need to think about. So if I were to pick the 60 one, it actually will not go up enough. I would need an 80 millimeter mask. All right, so what we'll do, we'll just um, grab an 80 mil mask and we'll resume. Okay, so here we have an 80 mil version. Let's just try that one out and we should experience some success. So these are packed really well. It's going to get to you safe and sound. Don't worry, we know how to ship and pack these. Um, when you get it, it's, this is what it's going to look like. It's actually going to come with all of your screws that you are going to need to fix it. We're going to have um, the uh, mask itself. And if we were just to hold that over the um, edge of it, you can see that it's um, it's going to fit quite nicely. You've got the edges there that you're going to be able to pack that through. So let's um, take a look at that. I'll unpack this one here. And it's not actually brown, this is a protective cover. So what we do is we just simply um, pull that back a little bit and get one edge and then hopefully we should be able to get the rest of it. There we go, it's giving away. What we do is we just slowly, slowly peel that off. It's just a little bit of a film that gives a bit of protection. a mask okay if I wanted to I could stop it there but I can do the other side since we're already on it how about we do the other side too we don't want to skip any of the steps in between because we hate it when videos do that this will fairly show you everything you've got to do to get the mask on and including Something as petty as this. Okay. Just be careful. Be gentle. And it will come right off. There we go. Done. Great. So there's our mask. Here are our screws. Have a look. So what's interesting about these is you can actually attach these on the inside or the outside of the button off um, of the scope. So we'll just do that. Pop that in. I'll attach that. There we go. Just pop it in nice and loosely. Obviously put them in all the same way. And this side will be the bit that goes to the bottom of your refractor. The other bit will be on top. Yeah, that wasn't clever. There we go. We'll just lightly attach that. There we go. As soon as you notice some resistance, we'll stop. Let me show the two ways that you can um, attach these. So what we'll do, we're just going to loosen them a tad. There we are, I can slide that one along. So I can now comfortably slide that one along and I can slide that one along. So what you could do, we can move them all to the middle like this. We grab our refractor. Off. Okay, pop that on top like that. And what we do is we just hold it in the middle Stretch that out to the end, and you can sort of see 
you can actually tighten that. Move that to the end. Pull, screw that on. There we are, that's tight. Move that one to the end. Tighten up and we're done. Incidentally, the other way that you could do this is to mount it on the outside. Okay, so there's two ways to do it. It doesn't make a difference. Um, one, one nice thing is about a plastic one, it won't rust. Um, it was always works. Once you've achieved focus, you can just pull that off and it can kind of remain that way. You don't need to retighten this every time. Once it's done, it's done, leave it alone. You will be able to simply pull it off because it's got those nice rubber edges there and you can simply put it on. Look, some people, they make their own out of cardboard or who knows what, but um, it's going to fall apart. It's not going to be accurate. It's You won't get these little cool grippy things with it. Just bite the bullet, get a decent mask and be done with it and then just pack it away with the rest of your astronomy equipment. And there we go, one nicely configured uh, refractor with a Bartonoff mask. Thanks.